In the earlier structure tree tutorials, we learned some basic facts about Artmatic's structure tree. In this lesson, we are going to start making sense of the different types of components and also the structure or organization of the structure tree. These icons at the top of each tile indicate its inputs. The icons on the bottom indicate the outputs. The number of inputs and outputs is a clue to the tile's role in the structure. For instance, tiles with two inputs and one output typically either generate a visual pattern, such as this grid or this texture, or mix together two patterns as we see here. A tile with two inputs and two outputs is usually used to rearrange the canvas on which the image is drawn, such as by rotating or distorting it. We call this space transformation. The number of inputs and outputs is called a tile's ordinality. We often use this shorthand to indicate tile ordinality. We also sometimes say two in, one out, or simply two one. A tile's ordinality determines what components or operations are available to it. Ordinality is important and we'll be talking about it a lot in the coming lessons. The threads that connect tiles carry information from the upper to the lower tile. A tile uses the information provided in its inputs and sends the result out the outputs. In general, tiles can receive input from either the global input matrix, which will be discussed in another lesson, or from a tile higher up the tree. For example, in this tree there is a rotation tile on the top row that receives its input from the global input matrix. It is connected to two 2-1 two tiles that create two different patterns. Those tiles send their patterns to this tile, which mixes them together and sends the result to be drawn on the canvas. The information that is passed between tiles is in the form of numbers. We will call the numbers passed by the tree values, but don't worry, we are not going to talk a lot about numbers, and you can be very productive with Artmatic without thinking about numbers and values. Structures that receive their input from global inputs X and Y are called 2D structure trees because they draw a pattern using two-dimensional space. Global inputs X and Y are actually the X and Y coordinates of the points of the canvas. In the early lessons, we will focus our attention on 2D structure trees that use gradient color. We will stick with the simplest color shader to minimize confusion, and we will mostly use this simple grayscale gradient. As you will recall, a tree uses gradient color, the color palette at the top of the user interface, when the tile at the bottom of the tree has a single output. Once you have a good understanding of structures like this, it will be much easier to make sense of more complex trees such as those that use RGB color or 3D input. Simple 2D trees are also a good way to become familiar with the many available components. Even very simple structures can create complex images. A typical structure tree is organized something like this, a central tile or group of tiles that creates the basic texture or image to draw, a tile or group of tiles above it that alters the space in which the image is drawn, such as by distorting or rotating the space, and a tile or group of tiles after the main texture that establishes or alters the colors. In a way, all structure trees have the same basic structure, although some trees use very complex arrangements of tiles to achieve it. With some guidance and practice, you will be able to find this structure even in complicated trees. We hope that you will learn how to do that in the course of these lessons.